Okay, guys, good morning. As you can see, we are on the US 100 on the daily. Let's just take a look what we have today. We already know what we've got, haven't we? But just a little reminder of what's going to happen. So we have Fed Chair Powell testimony. We have wholesale inventories. So 1500 is the hour that we want to be looking at. Then, obviously, we've got the Fed daily speech and stuff like that. So we're going to see volume in the markets until probably about 8 p.m. today. It's going to be a late burner in the U.S. 100, obviously, with gold as well. They're basically going to move the same. So what happened yesterday? Well, yesterday, U.S. 100, obviously, we can see here we are in an uptrend. What pattern is happening here? Exactly the same as what happened here, if we take a look. What's this? If we look here, it's literally exactly the same as this. We have moves to the upside, we break. We have one red candle, which is an inside bar. And then we have a daily bearish engulfing with a pin at the bottom. Ex literally exactly the same. If you copied and pasted this candle here, it will be exactly the same. So what's more likely going to happen when Fed Chair Powell speaks? Well, potentially going to move to the upside like this. So what are we looking for? Today, we're going to look for a long, but we are open to shorting. So <laughs> basically with this, honestly, whichever way it goes with the Michigan consumer sentiment, if it breaks this level, we go long. If we reject this level, however, we can short because it's more than likely going to continue for around about an hour when Fed Chair Powell speaks. But for now, let's just put a long in. We have to be moldable. I do expect it to reach this high. I do expect this to consolidate. <clears throat> so stop loss will probably be somewhere down here. Again, probably going to consolidate, bounce off this level. And then 1500 comes, either going to skyrocket to this level or reject again. No matter what happens, we're going to go in the direction that Powell takes it in the first hour. It's more than likely it's going to continue. So, could move down, could move up. Who knows? When's the daily close? It's here. Again, probably going to consolidate here and move up. More than likely. More than likely going to move up. But again, I have seen this dozens of times and it's moved down during the Fed Chair Powell testimony, tapped a level, and then the next day it's like, up here somewhere, stupid. So, US 100, moving to the upside, breaking that weaker level there. US 30, let's take a look what this did yesterday. So, look at that. Just straight shot, move to the downside. So, here is a little bit different than US 100 because we've now created a lower low. Look at that. High, high, higher low. Higher high, higher low, lower low now, because we've broken this level. So it's a little bit different, a little bit different. Again, still in an uptrend, so we need to be wary. Still moving up, as you can see. But it has broken. So let's take a look at this. This could literally go either way again. If we break this level, and then I'll be looking for longs. If we reject this level, I'll look for sells. At the moment, I'm just going to let Powell tell me what's going to happen. But more than likely here is a sell. Okay. Now, US 30 and US 100 basically move the same. If the US 100 moves down, US 30 will move down. If US 100 moves up, US 30 will more than likely move up as well. So we'll see what happens to these. Again, it could literally go either way. So be prepared to sell, be prepared to long. Let's take a look at gold here. So gold, let's take a look. Okay, so it's still at this really nice level that I like. You can get rid of that. Again, waiting for the Fed Chair Powell testimony. I do believe that this will move up again. 
crazy volume in the US dollar right now. So I'll be looking for that. Let's just take a look at the fundamentals though. DFX blue. Let's take a look. <clears throat> So what's gold right now? Gold's a minus 4.2, USD minus 2.1. Medium term gold stronger and long term gold is a lot stronger. So yep, definitely moving to the upside on gold. Probably gonna tap 21, 23, and then move up. So look out for that. We'll see if that happens later on at the Michigan Consumer Center. Let's take a look at the gravest pan against the yen though. So this was kind of close to an entry. You might have got in at 1500, would have got stopped out, but if you didn't, then that's absolutely fine. Because this is probably a really good entry here. On the 15 minute, inverted head and shoulders, it's taken the liquidity out, moving to the upside. So probably a buy limit here is not a bad shout. Or watching it on the 15 minute. That'd be a really good long. Again, you go into 192 here. So we're going to 15 minute. I would definitely trade this up on the 15, guys. I would wait for something kind of like this here, exactly like this. And then you're looking for a move to the upside because it's already breaking. Making lower lows and lower highs here. Now it's making a higher high. It's broke this high here, higher low, boom, move to the upside. So. 15 minutes on Gravis Brown against again. Set a alert at 19400. Let's just say 190400 or, or 190418 if you want to be alerted early. So that's Gravis Brown against the yen. Gravis Brown against the USD now. Let's take a look at this. <coughs> so that did work out. Again, moved a little bit too quick to be fair. Yeah, it's a little bit too quick, that. This was the news yesterday. It's moved down. Is there any trade here? We've literally just got the London Open now. So it's extended from a key level. Is it really a great trade right now? Not really. So, yes, if you had a buy limit here, you would have been in. But in terms of price action and the way that, that I like to do it, it's either got to be a reversal <laughs> Or a break this level here. I mean, it's already really respected this level. But again, we do have news later. It could tap this level. It could move back up. The Great British Pounds are positive 0 0.5. The USD is minus 1.9 long term. Medium term, positive 2. Against, where's it gone? Oh, sorry. USD. Uh, minus 1.9. So it is stronger. Looking for moves to the upside. Just hasn't given us a great entry here, unfortunately, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Unless you had a buy limit order, then yeah. So, again, that was the news. It's already moved up. This is the London Open. Unless you traded it at 2 in the morning, which I don't think any of you would have. I wouldn't have. So, don't feel bad if you didn't. But, again... Exactly the same as, as the Gravish Pound against the USD. More than likely going to come down, tap this level drawing news, and then move up. So the level you're looking for on gold is 1.08480. And the one you're looking for on Gravish Pound against the USD is... Da -da -da, I think it's around them. Uh, 127000. Key level. Round level, key level. There we go. So I've I've noticed that some people have jumped on. So I'll just go over US 100 <clears throat> again. And US 30. So US 100, looking for it to break this level during Michigan and consumer sentiment. US 30 was seen a move to the downside, which is kind of really, really weird. So we've got conflicting price movements on US 30 and US 100. Gold is pretty standard. Probably going to move to the upside at this key level. Does anyone want me to go through anything else? Anything else? I'll give you a second to type.
Well, other than, other than that, guys, literally just waiting for Powell to speak, waiting to see what he can do in the markets, whether he can give us a good move, and then we and then we go from there. Okay, nothing, nothing else. So thank you guys for coming. Thank you, AC, Annie's Coffee, uh, Daka, Des, H, J, Jimmy, Pauline, and Wah, WH. I'll just call you WH. Thank you, guys. Hope you have a great day, and I shall see you later for live training. Take care. Bye-bye.